All right. So here's the deal. If you're new to the channel, this is what's going on. Um, I've spent the last five years of my life at college getting my degree. Oh God. All my mom has ever wanted out of me and my dad, all they've ever really wanted out of me is to get a college degree. They don't care that I've already got my career set in way or that I'm, I'm doing good for myself right now. Um, they, don't, they don't care about any of that. They just want to make sure that I have my degree. That's the only thing they've ever cared about. That's been their only concern. That and me being happy, that's all they've ever given a crap about. And um, so just kind of get you guys up to speed, here's what happened. When I was 17, uh, graduated high school, moved out of my parents' house, completely independent of my own, went down to Brunswick, Georgia from Atlanta. I moved from Atlanta to Brunswick, Georgia. Uh, went to the College of Coastal Georgia. I've been going there for the past five years. Uh, Should have taken me four, but you know, I took five because I make bad decisions. Paid it all out of pocket. Uh, no student loans whatsoever, so that's that's really good. Like I said, I spent the last five years down there, and about after two years of being down there, my parents moved down there to retire. Uh, my dad still works, but he's retired from his career that he worked at for like 30 or 40 years. I don't know, not 30 years, 30 something years. Uh, so they're both retired down there. They retired just to get closer to me and you know spend time with me. And that they they love St. Simon's Island. It's a nice area, and because uh, he grew up down there, he retired. I was getting close to done with college. Um, he had saved up enough money, bought his dream car, a 2016 Z06 Stingray, and uh, he absolutely loves his car. Now my mom got a nice new car too, as well. Uh, so they're so they're both doing really well for themselves. They still they still do good. Um, so monetarily, giving him something was kind of always weird. You know, it's not like I grew up broke or poor or anything like that. Growing up, I never went without a roof over my head or a meal to eat. You know, I, I was always very uh, well off as a kid. So I've never really been able to give them much monetarily because. Um, they, they've got everything that they want, you know? Uh, the only thing I could ever give them would be my degree. That's all they've ever cared about since I've been born is, you know, because I'll be the first one in my family to graduate from college. That's really the big kicker right there. Neither my mom or my father graduated from college and nobody on my mom's side has ever done that either. And I don't think anyone on my dad's side has either. Um, so that's been their only concern ever was that, uh, that I get my degree because that's what they care about. That's what they really want. And I've kept this kind of secret from you guys, but I've got, I got confirmation about a week and a half ago while I was in Texas, uh, that I graduated, that my degree is finalized and, uh, they don't know. I'm, I basically took my last bit of classes and moved away back to Atlanta. My parents have no idea whether or not I graduated. I've been keeping them in the dark about it because I wanted to surprise them. And I finally get a chance to do that. So they have no idea that I've graduated. They have no idea that I also bought a Corvette as well, just like my dad. Um, so I'm gonna go surprise them with the car and kind of be like, hey, look, I surprised you guys because they, they noticed I've been, I've been sketchy for the past week and a half because I'm terrible at keeping secrets. So I bought the car as like a, a graduation present to myself. That's why I bought this car is because I, I really wanted this car and I've graduated, I can move on with my life and begin really doing what I want to do with my life. And so as soon as I got confirmation, I started looking for a car and I got one. So I'm going to act like the car is the big surprise. And then I'm going to make my mom read the message that says you've been approved. Uh, it basically says your degree is ready. She has no idea. I'm going to surprise her first. I think my dad's going to still be at work by the time I get from Atlanta to St. Simon's Island. But that's the download of what's going on. And I'm so excited about this. I've been waiting to, I've been wanting to do this for like three years now. Uh, really surprised my parents with this and I'm terrible at keeping secrets and it's insane that I've kept it this long So um, yeah, let's let's get going. All right, so I just got on to st. Simon's Island. I'm on the causeway I'm really really close to the house. I just called my mom and let her know that I was close And uh, she's excited to see me of course um, One thing I do want to note though is how good a gas mileage this freaking car has gotten Right now I'm cruising at about 65 miles an hour. I'm getting in seventh gear about 30 miles to the gallon um, the whole way through the interstate, I got about, I got 30 to 35 miles to the gallon the whole way. Um, and I made it uh, from Atlanta to St. Simon's Island all in one tank. And it's like 300 and something miles and I still have 100 more miles to go, which leads me to believe that this tank on this car with highway can get close to 400 uh, miles to the tank, maybe more, which is insane. I mean, it's seven speed manual, of course but that is just absolute phenomenal performance and blows away the Camaro 7 full. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I have no idea how she's gonna react to this.
Mama, it's locked. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Mama, come here. No, I'm just, I was just doing a video on the way home. What is that? What, that? What is that? That's, that's my car. <laughs> That is not your car. I promise it's my car. What the hell? <laughs> Come here, look at it. I did. When did you buy that? In Texas. Are you serious? Yeah, while I was out there, they called and gave me a great deal for my car. So I got it. I was just doing a video on the way. What do you think? Of like happiness or what? Dang, that's beautiful. Thank you. I, I bought it for a reason though. What? Here, read this out loud. <gasps> <laughs> I'm a college graduate, Mama. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, honey. <laughs> oh God, I wish I could have bought it for you. <laughs> that's my graduation oh, present to myself. Oh my gosh, Danny, I'm so proud. <laughs> the first one, huh? The first one in the family. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. I got the confirmation in Texas, and you I was like, "It was the hardest. It was the hardest secret I could ever keep from you guys. I've known for like a week and a half." Oh my god! I was, and I asked you about it. It was so hard for I me to keep that you secret. About it. And you said, "I don't know." Oh, she's on a mission. She was. She was. But she got back like a week and a half ago and she shot me that email while I was in Texas. And I gotta uh, read it with my glasses on. All I saw was your diploma's ready for pickup. Get it tomorrow. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna try to get it before, but they're closed by the time I got here. So I um well, I got Sunday. the Yeah. I got the confirmation in Texas. I called my buddy Derek, who works at the the dealership. I said, find me a car. And he found me a car. I ordered it sight and scene and traded it traded it in. Color. What color is that? The magnetic gray, the color that dad couldn't decide if you wanted to buy or not. That is a beautiful color. I mean, it really is. Payments go up. Not much. Dang. My insurance only went up 70 bucks. My my, my payments. No, a year. Honestly, I, I, dad was right about that. Camaro, you wouldn't have it a year. I had it a year and a half. Well, he, he said a year, you know. Well, I'm, I'm a college graduate. Their years will pass emissions. Well, yeah, there was. I, you kept, Dad kept saying, So, is the Camaro gonna be alright? I'm like, Yeah, no, the Camaro's fine, I'm sure. I don't know. You guys kept asking about the clutch, and I was like, Uh, <laughs> well. Well, you did. Well, we were worried about you driving. Yeah, yeah. With all the trouble you've had. Hey! Hey, big boy. How are you, man? How are you? Good. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Ooh. Hey, what? One little ding with some well, part of the trip, no nails in the tires. That's a little bit more than a ding. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe you can do something with it. I don't know. Take a look at it. Now, I don't know what did it, or maybe you can tell me what it did. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn. What have you bought? Uh, you dog. I think the garbage can so you can see it. Man, you are not right. What do you think, man? That's what color I wanted. What year is that? 2015. Now it ain't the Z06, it's a Z51, which is like the Z06, except no supercharger. Moly, man. What, is, what in the world have you done? You like it? Oh, dude. I understand that, why you got yours. Yeah. That's the prettiest color you've ever bought. I know. Where'd I did you get it? In Texas. What? You got it when you were in Texas? They, they, um, the reason why, I, I'll show you why I got it real quick because uh, you'll understand a little bit more why I bought it once you see this. Hi, Daniel. Your diploma is available for pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Man, congratulations. This is my graduation present. So this is myself. your graduation present. Well, man, that is just... All right, tomorrow night. What are you going to be going by picking up? I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. All right. <laughs> A college grad in a Corvette. Yeah, I know, right. dude. I couldn't help it. Let me get in it. Open yeah, it up. dude, it's unlocked. Yeah, it's got the Alcantara, the carbon fiber seats. I mean, it looks just like mine, dude. Except, I mean, you know, yours is uh, black and CO6 ish, but what do you think, man? Man, I like this. This is beautiful. Top comes off just like yours. Beautiful. You remember, you remember how I kept saying, man, it's so nice. I wish I could take my top off. <laughs> I'm driving around without my top off. <laughs> How many miles? 10,000 when I bought it. Is that I, all? I had less than 10,000 when I bought it. 
Damn. like 9,800. No, so I just want to crank it. You sure? And, uh, here's something I tell you. Man, this has been one of my dreams is to own the same Corvette as you. Here you are with it. Well, everyone, I have to say that I believe this trip was a 100% success. I was able to surprise both my parents with both my degree in my car, and the reaction was exactly what I wanted. I wanted them to be surprised, and I, they're extremely happy and proud of me, and that's all I could ever ask for. Is, uh, that's all I've ever wanted uh, for my parents. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, and I've always wanted to surprise my parents with something similar to this. And uh, I hope to do a lot more surprises with my parents in the first uh, in the future. And my mom doesn't want to be on camera at all, but I think I'm just going to ignore and uh, put her on YouTube anyway.